Turkey's top-selling opposition newspaper has reopened following a state takeover and subsequent police raid. Staff at Zaman have posted photos online of armed forces appearing to surround the publication's Istanbul offices. Authorities used water cannon and fired tear gas at protesters before forcing their way into the offices. One German journalist who was covering the incident was briefly detained, German media report. A state-appointed trusteeship has now been ordered to take over the newspaper. State media said the raid was carried out at the request of a prosecutor investigating a U.S.-based cleric who's accused of trying to topple the government. The raid and transfer of management have further heightened concerns about press freedom in Turkey. The government has been uh, uh, practicing a wide range of witch hunt. As President Erdogan once said, witch hunt, if, if this is called witch hunt, let it be it. We are going to do it. So he openly declared that they are going to do it and they are, uh, they are um, executing a wide, wide range of witch hunt uh, against opponents at the moment. Rights groups and European officials have also criticized the takeover of Zaman and its sister publication, Today's Zaman, which is printed in English. A recent Reporters Without Borders report found Turkey had the fifth highest number of imprisoned journalists worldwide.